story at four. An LAPD officer is under arrest for a fiery crash that took three lives. Edgar Verdusco was accused of driving under the influence when he rear-ended a car on the southbound 605 freeway near Washington Boulevard in Whittier. KCAL 9's Dave Lopez live with the latest trouble to hit the LAPD. And here at LAPD headquarters, his boss, Chief Charlie Beck, confirmed that that officer not only was allegedly drunk, but he faces three counts of vehicular manslaughter. Because in that accident, a family lost their lives. According to the CHP, a Riverside family of three, mother, father, and teenage son, died in this fiery collision along the 605 freeway near Washington just after 10 o'clock last night. 26-year-old Edgar Verduzgo, an off-duty L.A. police officer, was booked and charged with drunk driving and causing the collision when he rear-ended that Nissan, causing the car to burst into flames. My heart goes out to the victims and the families, and I cannot tell you how angry and disappointed I am that a Los Angeles police officer would disregard the law and cause an accident with such awful, awful consequences. The chief confirming that Verduzco has been an LAPD officer for the past two years. His two years were unremarkable. Uh, he came to us from the U.S. Army where he did uh, almost four years. Uh, I th believe he served in Afghanistan. The chief said Verduzco worked the front counter at Central and he believes that yesterday was a scheduled day off for his officer. We don't have any information on food yet, just whatever you guys know. Yeah. This morning at Verduzco's Santa Ana apartment where he lives, the woman who answered the door identified herself as a relative, told me that Verduzco is not married, that he was on his way home last night. She has no idea what had happened and they were trying to get money so they can bail him out. He's currently in county jail, $100,000 bail. This is an awful, awful thing, and um, you know, I, it's, it's made more personal to me by the fact that it was caused by a Los Angeles police officer. The coroner late this afternoon told me it will probably be later tonight, maybe even until tomorrow, before they can positively identify the fam Riverside family that was killed. However, we've been able to confirm that the teenager who was killed, we don't have his name yet, but he was 19 and a recent graduate, two years ago we were told, from North High School. As for the officer, he suffered a broken nose. He remains in county jail, unable to make bail. He will be suspended, but not for at least 30 days. He'll be paid for the next 30 days, and then the process will begin, the suspension, and then perhaps firing if it leads to that. The chief said he doesn't like the idea of having to pay him for 30 days, but it's the law.